Hi guys, just wanted to show you my new TPX setup. So uh, this is my old TPX with a half inch viewer uh, rail riser. I have a new Excalibur scope. So this is a scope from a crossbow and I find those are the only ones that are actually usable for uh, first strike shooting. Um, uh, there's a zoom wheel here. Uh, you can see there's a feet per second mark in 300, 330 and so on. So a uh, crossbow has very similar drop to paintball gun, that's why I got this. Uh, because uh, you can actually tune it in so that you can uh, the markings on the radical kind of match the drop of the first strike so uh, the radical becomes useful um, in terms of uh, predicting where the strike would land versus using you know, like a mill dot scope where you just have to basically fire off one shot at the distance and then see where the other shots land at the shorter distance or farther distance anyways it's just easier to use so uh, one of the mods I did here is uh, I took um, a hammerhead barrel, uh, which was designed for, I believe, uh, uh, autococker thread, and I had the machinist rethread it into A5 uh, thread. So as you can see, uh, it's a um, what do they call it? Jesus Christ! Uh, rifle barrel, uh, and I did shoot first strikes out of this, uh, and uh, it worked great. It's really accurate. So um, it does need some sort of foregrip because uh, you know you, you sway a lot as you aim. I bought this rubber boot which does work with a mask by the way, it worked great. Uh, blocks out the light while you're aiming you can just push the rubber right against the mask. And uh, let me show you how the reticle looks like. So uh, you can see there's foot markings. Uh, let me see if I can just zoom it in so you can see better. Okay, so uh, you can see there is a green and uh, there's a red backlight for the reticle or not backlight, illumination. So, and uh, there's your foot markings. So, uh, this is, it, it, it's entirely possible to tune this in so the first strikes actually land and uh, you have your zero and then you have thir plus 30 feet, plus 40 feet, plus 50 feet, plus 60 feet and it'll actually land right at those triangle markings. Anyways, uh, one of the things I noticed is uh, uh, this thing will uh, stick to a mask lens as a suction cup so the solution would be to burn a small hole here and probably on the other side just for the air to be able to flow in and out. Uh, this thing here on the front, as you notice, uh, I bought this uh, uh, rubber uh, rubber junction for uh, uh, sewage pipes and uh, I cut it off, uh, like it's, it's about this long, I cut it off and I just left this small section in and then I bought uh, a sheet of plexiglass and cut out the lens cover. So you put it in here and then you squeeze this uh, metal clamp. I know it looks ugly but unfortunately that's the only solution I came up with so far. So And this will protect your optics so when the paintball strikes it's just going to strike thick. Uh, you know, a uh, quarter inch uh, lac sand or plexiglass and uh, prevent the lens from being broken because all the impact will be passed to the body basically, this metal body which doesn't care as long as you don't strike the optics you won't break them and uh, the, the glass actually sits right on the edge of the lens there so, uh, let me see it's not in right now but uh, it'll sit on the metal edge so uh, the paintball will never actually reach the glass or the, no energy will be transferred to the optics so that's just a, a neat trick I came up with to protect the uh, scopes. And this will work on anything. You can buy those in different sizes. Uh, this one I believe is one and a quarter inch or one and a half inch. There's a two inch, three inch and so on. So you can get, and when you when you tighten up the clamp, it will squeeze down to a really small size to look almost three. You can go to like an inch or so in size in diameter. So uh, you can put it around any, uh, any scopes. Now regarding the barrel, uh, if you're interested in, in making your own, uh, what you can do is you can buy a rifled hammerhead barrel, bring it to a local machine shop, bring a stock barrel and just tell them to rethread it the same way and uh, it'll probably cost you maybe 50 bucks but it's worth it. Um, and uh, this is bead blasted as well so I don't have to anodize it or paint it. it works great, really accurate. I'm getting, uh, I forgot what was, probably a foot spread at uh, maybe uh, 80 feet or something like that. Anyways, that's my uh, Sniper TPX. Uh, there's a, I'm making a body kit for this 
uh, which I hope is going to compete with uh, FXR kits and it's, it's going to be much cheaper and much lighter and much stronger and smaller too and you will be able to use your CO2 so uh, this will be in, uh, in new videos. See ya.